Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the third functional training session. Thank you for joining. So you need some water, as always, some energy, and a couple of things today. Now, I've got lots of bean bags here, so get as many pairs of socks as you can. Keep them in a bowl, and then we'll get going. You also need to have a cushion. Something that your parents don't mind you standing on. Maybe you want to take your shoes off so you're not damaging the cushion. It could be a pillow. Something that you are able to stand on and you won't get in trouble for that. Awesome. So get those pieces of equipment ready. And then we're going to focus on a dynamic, so energetic warm up, getting ourselves ready for the exercise and refocusing really on doing the movements correctly. Okay, all right, let me give you about 30 seconds to get yourself ready with that equipment, and then we are good to go. Okay. How are you feeling energized what we're gonna to do today? It's gonna to be a bit of a challenge. We're gonna do some animal movements, focusing on how to control our bodies, really thinking about how to do it safely, but also making ourselves a little bit stronger as well. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's get ready for the warm up. We can do a couple of minutes and then we're going to focus on those individual movements. Here we go. Good job, guys. Keep going. Keep that balance. When you're doing the movement, let's go. Go a bit faster. Use your arms. Sweat. Get control. Good job. A bit faster. Sweat. Good. Side to side. that pace, use your arms, awesome, keep it going, pause it back, time in the break, good job, jumping jacks, Drop it out. Oh, there. And back. See if you can hold it. 
Make some even harder. That's it. Use your head. Oh, push down. The back with kick in. 10 seconds. Woo! Ah, oh, come on, you got this. Got time for one more? No. Awesome, I did four. I wonder how many of you guys did. Fantastic effort, well done. Woo, make sure you have three water in between if you need to. Don't always need to, that's okay. All right, next one. Okay, we're gonna use the cushion for this one. I can stand on mine. And we're gonna take socks and put as many as you like in a circle around cushion like so. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to really focus on balance. So imagine you're like a flamingo, like a stalk on one leg, and you're going to bend down, pick up socks, and then put them in a different spot. Okay, and I'm going to do that two times on the same leg, and then I'm going to switch legs, okay? You make it as hard as easy as you want to see. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Pick it up. Put it down. Good. Use both hands. Challenge yourself. Keep the balance. Fantastic. I'm going to change my leg. Pick it up. Keep yourself going. Nice and control. Take your time. I'm going to try some of these back ones behind me this time. It's going to be a little bit harder. Nice and low position. 
ocean, in the water we've got, so if you want to see like a crab, why not? How's it? Pick it up, backwards. Are you still low? Let's go. Here we go, 15 seconds, guys, come on. Whew, legs are probably burning. That's good. Keep low, keep low. Ooh. Last one. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, I'm so bad. Shake your legs out. Shake your arms out. Get yourself nice and relaxed. We'll have a little bit of water. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I didn't tell you once we've done all of these, once we're going to do it twice. Once you've got used to what it is that we're doing. So, I think. I think this one's probably the hardest one actually. So I'm just going to show you from the side so you understand what it looks like when I'm moving. So your hands face forward, okay? So you're going to pick up your bottom and you're going to put the socks just on your stomach so when you're moving, you are really in control of what you're doing, okay? So all my socks are over here. I'm just going to move the cushion so you can see. So all my socks are over here. And I'm going to try and get them over there. You can keep your bottom up in the air if you want to, or you can have a rest each time you pick up and put down. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Nice and controlled. You might want to go faster than me, that's fine. As long as you've got control. Good job. I'm going to challenge myself, keep my bottom up. Woo. Let's go. You can feel that in the arms. Keep going. Good job. Oh, I have to put the bottom down this time. Woo! There we go. Come on, guys. You got this. Such a strange way to move that we're not used to. Ten more seconds. Can I do one? Bring it back to the inside. Oh, stop there. Woo! Fantastic. How are you feeling, okay? Maybe you're not as tired as me. Maybe you're actually doing a really good job. All right, we need one pair of socks for the next one. We've done pencil rolls. You've done lots of pencil rolls and pee before. So you put the socks between your feet. And you're going to really try and keep it there. I'm going to put one between my hands. So we're going to do a little snake roll. Sometimes snakes roll, I suppose. Not always. So I'm going to put them behind my head. And I'm going to try and keep them in my toes. Oh, as I roll all the way down. And I keep those socks in my toes and my hand. And I'm going to roll back again. I'm going to keep doing that. For 45 seconds. All right, are you with me? Get yourself organized. Make sure you've got enough space, not hitting into things as you're rolling. All right, here we go. I'm going to put it between my feet, one between my hands. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, use your stomach to roll. Keep it tight. Woo! Keep going, guys. Keep going. Ooh. And back in the way. Ooh. Come on, we got this. Keep going. Ooh. And again, keep going. Yeah, come on. Ooh. Got it, got it, got it. Come on. Woo! One of the pair of doing this with you right now, that would be awesome. Good job, the last one. We've got time for one more. Yes, we have. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Woo! That's a good one as well. That is a challenge too. Fantastic. So, like I said, we're going to do them again now. I want to see what, how you can improve the second time round. So let's take 20 seconds rest. The second time round, how do you actually do? Then we've got some challenges at the end. 
They're a little bit different for today, okay? All right, so let's start with our bare crawl again. Let's put all our socks this end. I'm going to challenge myself a little bit faster this one. Not too fast, but a little bit faster, okay? So, ready in third position? Socks on your neck. I mean, I suppose you could also try and put it on your head. Not sure if that will work for you. Try it. See how you feel. Completely up to you. You're in your own space right now. Are you ready? Three. Well, it's going to fall already. Wow. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come back. Whoa. Keep going. Whoa. Backwards. Oh, I'm not keeping it in position this time. You got it, guys. Come on. Put it in the mind, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Ten seconds, come on. Woo. You do one more. Three, two, one. Fantastic. Good work. Oh. All right, have a quick drink. So good. Using our arms and our legs, all of these activities much as possible. So, next one, like I said, let's get the cushion again. We're going to do this one for a little bit longer this time. We really want you to improve your balance. So, we'll move this over a little bit. So, make a circle with your socks. Now, it's up to you. You want to make it harder, put them a bit further away, but make sure you're able to still be on balance. You don't want to be completely off balance, and I don't want you hurting yourselves at home, right? So, take yourself all nice in the circle. Do it a little bit longer this time. And what I want you to do this time is do the same leg four times. All right, so you're going to pick up left or right leg, same time, four times. Okay, ready? All right, three, two, one, let's go. Nice and controlled, put it in a different space. I'm going to keep going with my left leg. Keep going. Make it harder. Pick up from different places. Whoa. Good job, guys. All right, I'm changing to my right leg now. Good. Keep going. Can I get one from behind? Oh, yes. Oh, a bit too much that one. I'm going to go here. Good. Change legs again. You've done four on each one. If you've not, keep going until you've done four on each one. Keep that balance. You've got this, guys. See if I can get one from behind. I don't know. Yeah. And we'll switch again. Whew, we'll get that balance first before we stop doing anything. Get the balance. We'll change. Got these ones behind. Yes. Ooh, so close. Ooh, fantastic. Okay. Good job. It's good to do things a little bit longer. Really challenge ourselves. So well done. All right, what have we got next? Okay, monkey reach. So let's see how we do with this one this time. So if you've got lots of socks, then put them all together. If you've only got a few pairs of socks, just keep putting them back, or you could turn your body around and do it in a different direction. 
as well. You decide which way to do it. Okay, so I've got one here. Okay, I'm not sure I can see my timer. All right, ready? I'm going to make it a bit harder this time. I'm going to really extend my body to here. And then it's much harder to try and pick up. Okay, but really bend those legs as we're doing it. All right, here we go. You've got balance with your hands. Here you go. Come on. Ten seconds. Challenging you. 
We're going to roll an extra roll this time. Hopefully, I'll still be on the mat and I can have myself. So, you keep those socks in there again. And behind, legs are straight, arms are straight. We're using your stomach muscles to help turn you. Don't bend your legs. Keep yourself nice and strong. Are you ready? Let's go. Extra roll, here we go. Come on. Oh, yeah, I'm still on the mat. Here we go. Go back again. It's like I'm just going. Oh, a bit strange. Just makes me actually move like this. Woo! 80 seconds, come on. Woo! 10 seconds, guys. Come on. Yeah, come on. And stop there. Woo! Legends. Hands pat on the back. I'm going to give you a high five if I could. But I know you're there, so fantastic. All right. Let's get ourselves a nice, beautiful cool down. Always stay for the cool down. But I believe you've got to stretch those muscles out that you've just used. All right. I think you know by now which are my favorite stretches. Let's start with our walkout. So nice. And slow, hands up. And slowly. We're going to hold the stretch. Now, if you can't touch your toes, bend your leg a little bit. Touch your toes and push your bottom up. If your legs have got a slight bend, that's absolutely fine. I can see my legs are really tight today. I cannot get my hands down here. So we're going to hold there. One, two, three. Now we're going to walk out. And walk back in slowly. Hands, push your heels down. Coming up slowly. For the last part. Awesome. Got to put our spine back on top. So we don't come up too quickly. All right, the next one. Okay, we're going to do our inch one. So we're going to talk about animals today. So as you come forward, give your feet behind. Little steps. Bend your legs, come up slowly. And just relax there. All right, especially when you've been sitting at a computer all day. Students and parents, this is a fantastic one. This is one of my favorite stretches, what's called the rag doll. So you grab both your elbows. I'm going to do it from the side so you can see. Put your feet nice and wide, but not too wide. So about a little bit wider than the hips. And you're going to come down, bend your legs, and as you get to your knees, just let the head drop. Let all that tightness out of your neck, or oh, I can feel that. Let it hang, you go a little bit side to side. Relax here, five more seconds. Oh, I can feel that tightness coming out of my neck, let my head hang. So nice. And again, come up slowly. And coming up last. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to finish with uh, another one of my favorites called the world's greatest stretch. So, a big step forward, hand down to support. So, the other, other hand that your foot is um, using. So, I've got my left foot, my right hand. And with the other hand, you're just going to simply open up. Look at your hand, hand to the foot. Open up, look at your hand, hand to the foot. And then step in. Again, always coming up slowly. Fantastic. We're going to do the same on the other side this time. Again, big step forward, hand down, hand stretch. Look at the hand behind you, really opening up your back. Every single part of the body and coming up slowly again. And let's just finish with our hip opener. So feet nice and wide, feet flat on the floor. Oh, I can feel that in my knees. <laughs> and again, just hold this position here. The more you can do this when you're sitting down all day, 
This is so good to open up those hips, let your lower back rest a bit. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Thanks so much again for coming. Hope you enjoyed that. Enjoy the rest of your day and after yourselves. Like I said, this is my last one for a few weeks. I need to take a rest for various reasons, so I will let you know when we're back in again. But thank you for coming. Look at the videos, practice. Let me know how it went. Bye for now. Bye.